At the easternmost edge of Crowley Lake in Mono County, there's a geological formation like no other. It's known as the Crowley Lake Columns, and from a distance, it looks like rows of off-white pillars that are holding up the hillside like a giant Greek Parthenon. And under the bright blue eastern Sierra sky, it's an absolutely amazing sight to see. I don't think I'm gonna make it. The only problem, it's not that easy to get to. There's only three ways to access the columns, by boat, in a high clearance vehicle, or on foot. And since our standard SUV couldn't get over the steep rutted roads, we reluctantly chose to walk. It's not an easy hike. I guess it's not no. an easy job being a geologist. Huh? <laughs> Luckily for us, we were traveling with geologist Noah Randolph Flagg, who knew the weight of the columns and how they were formed. And the history and the story of the columns is really the story of a volcano. The story that Noah's talking about started 780,000 years ago, following a massive eruption. So this is Crowley Lake, and that's the edge of the caldera, and all of this hot rock blasted that way. Following the eruption, the ground subsided or collapsed in on itself, leaving a 10 by 20 mile long hole that geologists call the Long Valley Caldera. I'm standing in a pile of ash, and I'm standing near the bottom of it. Ash, hundreds of feet thick, covered the area, and much like a campfire, everything below the ash was very hot for a very long time. The type of rock has existed for a long time, and I, I think it is a mystery how they formed and exactly uh, when they formed. Now, there's a lot of scientific debate on exactly how the Crowley Lake columns were formed, but in 2018, Noah and his colleagues used research data to create a computer model on the volcanic activity and wrote a paper about their findings. In our models, it took, it took about 100 years to form these columns. Noah says over many years, rainwater seeped down through the hot ash and started to boil. And what happens when water boils in this type of rock is it forms a glue, which we call mordenite. Research suggests that the mordenite glue columns are all over the Long Valley Caldera, not just at the edge of the lake. And the reason we see them so beautifully here is because of this lake, which was built in 1941 by the damming of the Owens River. Crowley Lake is a reservoir, and as it rises and falls, it erodes the ashy soil, but not the Mordenite columns. Columns extend as far back as we can go. Volcanically formed columns like this are rare and only formed in a handful of places around the world. And by studying them, Noah hopes that it'll help save lives after future eruptions. We actually have seen this recently. There was an eruption in Guatemala in 2018. Some of this hot rock that was still cooling remobilized and it wiped out a village. You know, this is a, a real hazard and people live near volcanoes and they live downhill from volcanoes. And understanding how they can mobilize and how they cool, I think is really important. Is it safe to be standing under these right here? I mean, yeah, I think don't push too hard. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about the Crowley Lake columns moving anytime soon. They've been pretty stable rock formation for many years, and it's a great backdrop for a picture if you can get there. From the Lake Crowley columns, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads. <laughs>